Welcome to Real Physics. Today I want to show you an extremely exciting idea about the origin of gravity. And thanks to Jonathan Fay who brought this to my attention. You can watch also our interview and you can watch the paper of Hans Reisner, who I think was the first one. Have a look also at Cook's 1976 paper. I mean, you can and you should go to the technicalities, but it's very brief and intuitive if you just grab the essential idea. And here it is. So we all have these Machian ideas. Where does acceleration come from? And let's say the acceleration of a body, say this tree, comes from all accelerations of all other masses in the universe. Now we are thinking, how is this tree accelerated? And imagine here is the center of an atom, a proton, and here is an electron orbiting the proton. And you notice one thing here. There is a centripetal acceleration, of course, and here the centripetal acceleration pulls the electron to the center, but at the same time it's directed in this direction. And if the tree feels the acceleration of the electron, it will be pushed away a little bit. On the other hand, if the electron is at this point of the orbit, the centripetal acceleration would pull the electron to the left here. And if the tree feels the acceleration of the electron here, it will be pulled towards the electron. Now notice that here we are a little bit closer and this acceleration effect is a little bit stronger than on the other side. All this leads to the r in the denominator becoming an r squared, which essentially leads to a 1 over r squared gravity law. I think this is just sensational. And again, if you look at the technicalities, what's the quantitative strength here? More or less, you can ask how much does that acceleration affect the other mass? And it's more or less the ratio of the Schwarzschild radius to the actual distance. So of course, it's a very, very tiny fraction because we have the entire universe to contribute to the force, but this could be the mechanism. And of course, the bigger picture here is we want to develop these Machian ideas. Could the gravitational constant possibly explained by the mass distribution in the universe, which is necessary because you don't want to have this God-given constant of nature? We need real explanations. And yeah, just think about centripetal acceleration of the electron. That would be sufficient to explain the idea. You can also think about the proton himself exerting the same thing, because if you have the orbital motion, the Due to the motion of the center of mass, the proton will make the same kind of effect. And it's not dependent also on the orbital velocity. In fact, it would be too little pro probably. What we rather need is something like orbiting with the speed of light, which is interesting for its own sake, because it would contribute to that formula c squared times radius of the universe divided by the mass of the universe, which is an order of magnitude approximate of the gravitational constant. I mean, all this fits pretty nicely. And as I said, yeah, should be enough motivation to go to the details. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.